Hey everybody, it's Coach Richard Wharton here with OnlineBikeCoach.com and I'm going to take a slightly different tack on things today. Uh, I'm going to, instead of talking about things necessarily related to exert, I'm looking at another piece of technology that I've been a huge fan of for a really long time and uh, it will allow us to look at some things, again physiologically, that some of the physics are um, predicting, so to speak. Let's start with that. Uh, the product is called the Moxie Muscle Oxygen Sensor. This is their second generation product. And specifically, I use it uh, on my lower left leg. Uh, I use it on the left lateralis of my, uh, on my quadriceps. And it goes underneath the uh, bike jersey where it's held in place. This is a light guard. And you can see that it's got three dots of uh, lights on it. It's got a transmitting light and then it's got two receiving lights. And what it's doing is it's measuring saturated muscle oxygen as well as total hemoglobin. Now what I intend to do with this series of ditties is talk about the information that it's showing and how I interpret that myself. Uh, the Moxie muscle oxygen sensor is, in my opinion, a sort of uh, passive lactate tester. When, what you, when you first put this thing on, it reads a number. You then go through a warm-up protocol, which is what I'm going to do in another ditty, that shows you what I would call your max uh, active saturation is. And then as you go through intervals, it declines and rebounds and declines and rebounds, and it tells us other things that are going on inside the body that, again, Physics is immutable, but physiology is infinitely mutable. What I'm going to talk about today is kind of fun. If we look over here, what we see is that per the uh, exert uh, system, it's predicting that my lower threshold power sits at 205 watts. Lower threshold power roughly equivocates to uh, lactate threshold deflection point one. Remember what I said earlier, this kind of is a passive lactate analyzer. So LT1, LT2 is lactate threshold two, which is your functional threshold power, again, more or less. But I'm just gonna talk about LT1 and, uh, and uh, uh, lower threshold power right now. Exert yesterday said that my LTP was 205. Well, if we take a look at my um, gas exchange ana analysis right here, what we see is this. This is a uh, VO2 master gas exchange analyzer right here. And I went out and did a decent warm up and then I, I performed a steady state interval. And as you can see, the target for this was 201 watts. Well, that's just below. And I wanted to see what my SMO2 values were and what my VO2 values were. Well, as we watch the video, what we see is my SMO2 hovers at around 39 to 41%. Well, if my maximum saturated, maximum active saturation is about 75 to 85%, and my SMO2 at 200 watts is about 41%, um, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that that value is uh, pretty darn close. Uh, you know, it, 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 it's basically telling me that I can ride at 200 or a little bit more watts and I won't be uh, moving into a tempo intensity. Because if you think about it, there really are only three phases, there are only three zones of training, breathing, heaving, and gasping. And those can generally be delineated by LT1 and LT2 or lower threshold power and upper threshold power. And so for a period of 13 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I rode my bike at around 201 watts, just under that 205. And the Moxie 
stayed at about 40%. It never really dipped and it never really rose. So it was a plateau and it was stable. I'm pretty impressed with that. What that means is I can now go get more bang per buck per minute by riding at a slightly higher intensity than I used to, which used to be 150 to 170 watts. I can earn my strain scores and I can um, uh, achieve my volume goals uh, while still maintaining a high level of aerobic enzyme uh, fitness. Anyway, that's about it. We're going to continue to do some more work with the Moxie, including I think the next ditty I'll make for you is a warm-up ditty to show you how I do my uh, patented, it's not patented, but it, that's what I tell people, um, uh, my patented uh, vasodilation exercises so that you then understand how best to warm up and how long to warm up so that you are adequately prepared for the strain that fitness intervals require. Thanks so much and enjoy the ride.